Gerald, thanks for joining us. Has anything changed since you posted the video in October? Uh, n not in the sense of uh, getting any, accessing any new housing or uh, doing any major renovating to any of the houses in the community. No, not really anything has changed. It's, what has changed is just, uh, just what, what we've actually initiated through uh, our own personal efforts, individual efforts, and uh, from the donations from the many hundreds of people that have helped us since then. And, but uh, as for help from the band or the government of Canada, uh, nothing, nothing at all. What, what does the community need to, to get by this winter? Well, we need, uh, what we need is like, well, immediately, like for the family physically, we need heaters, we need blankets, we need warm clothing for some of those children and people of all ages, you know, like a lot of these people are unemployed and on social assistance and, uh, but also to make the houses warmer, we need windows, we need doors, we need doorknobs and uh, it's, it's kind of sad when, uh, they go to the band office and ask for it that they're told to come to the four of us. Now, I know uh, like the band will have its hands tied a little bit because there's an obligation by the federal government. Like you're saying you're not seeing any action from the federal government. What ought to be happening from your point of view? Well, from my point of view is uh, what should be happening is they should have a team of uh, people in there analyzing those houses, assessing all those houses, and you know, we should have had people in there doing the repairs that are needed to make these houses warmer and livable for these people. Uh, because, you know, in one instance, you have one house there that's got, you know, their sewage is right un in their basement. Who does that? Who puts that in their basement? And I can't see the rationale of that. And that, that odor is making that family sick, and that's a Trish Hole residence. And, uh, but, you know why don't we, why doesn't Sandy Bay have a team of people going in there, repairing these houses, putting in you know like doors, windows? You know we have our own source revenue. I know Canada works slow, but we have our own source revenue in the community, and we need you know like we could be using a lot of that. We, we they have businesses, they have income, they could be taking some of that money. Like you look at the VLTs, the the gaming arrangement that. Those gaming arrangements are for the betterment of the community. The profits should be used for stuff, for situations like this. What do you have to say to people who will tell you if conditions are so bad on reserve, why don't you just move? You know, like it just, you know, like was anybody telling the people of Fort McMurray to move? That's my response, you know. That's exactly it, you know, like it just John Christian said that, you know, people can get nostalgic. But sometimes people have to move. But you know what? This is our ancestral homeland. This is what's left the remainder of our, of our land. This is all we have left. They have everything else. And they're not w willing to share. All right. Thank you very much, Gerald McIver, for bringing this update. Well, we'll keep in touch. Okay, thank you.